Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will do comparative analysis of the homopolysaccharides. Now we know the homopolysaccharides means single repeating monomeric units and these were starch, cellulose and glycogen. Now let us compare the structure as well as the function of these three homopolysaccharides. So see, the polysaccharides cellulose, starch, glycogen. So the source, the source from which cellulose is obtained is plants, starch is also obtained from plants but glycogen is from animals it is mainly stored in liver tissue then subunits all the polysaccharides are made up of monosaccharide subunits so the subunit for cellulose is beta glucose in case of starch we know that it is made up of two polymeric units one unit is amylose and another is amylopectin so both of them the subunits are just the same alpha glucose in case of glycogen also the subunits are just the same alpha glucose Next, this, the bonds. Now what bonds are present? Since the beta D glucose is present, so the bonding is beta 1 for glycosidic bond. In case of amylose, we have learned that the structure is like a coil spring, but it is linear. So the bonding is alpha 1 for glycosidic bond. In case of amylopectin, we learned that there are branches. It is a little more complex structure. So, it has both alpha 1,4 as well as alpha 1,6 glycosidic bonds. In case of glycogen also, severe branching is present. Therefore, the bonding is just the same, alpha 1,4 and alpha 1,6. Now, branches. In case of cellulose, no. It is a very, very linear structure. In case of amylose, no. In case of amylopectin, yes, little branching is present in the form of alpha 1,6 bonds. And in case of glycogen, very high branching in the form of alpha 1,6 bonds. Let us now have a look at the diagram. So this is the diagram. You can see glucose units joint linearly. In case of amylose also, glucose units join linearly. But see amylopectin. There you can see branches. Similarly in glycogen, we can see branches. Now the shape. We know that cellulose is present in the form of fibers. So there is extreme linearity because of the hydrogen bonding between the glucose molecules. So see the linear structure. Now amylose, we know it's like a coil spring which accommodates iodine inside it and therefore gives a blue violet color with, with iodine. Okay, now amylopectin. Amylopectin is branched but little less branched as compared to glycogen. So finally the use is, the use of cellulose is, it provides rigidity to the cell wall and it is commercially used in production of paper and paper products. The starch, we all know it's a reserve food formed during photosynthesis in the form of glucose and converted into starch. So it is a reserve food. Also it is formed in the form of starch grains which can be eccentric as well as concentric. Glycogen is the reserve food for animals. Where is it stored? In liver as well as in the muscle tissues. So this was all about homopolysaccharides. In next video, we will learn about heteropolysaccharides. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.